uh, you know, um, I hate to say it, but how have you been? <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I hate to say it is because we do with several of these videos at once. Uh, so I know how you've been, but truly, how have you been? Have you been busy? I've been very busy, been very busy. The family's been very busy. My, okay. Yeah, so we're... As long as you're not dizzy. Did you realize that it's been almost one year since the whole COVID pandemic? Uh, I started working from home on March 13th. And it's March 11th. Yeah, it's been a year. It's been a year. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I, you know... Does it feel like, I mean... How, it it does, does, does feel, feel like it. it <laughs> So, Does it feel longer than a year? No. It, I mean, you'd think it would be like the perfect environment, but I, I have, I honestly sometimes have a hard time with it. I mean, it's great, but there's just so many like little things, pets bothering you, you know. Working noises. at home 100% of the time is not ideal. Yeah, it's, you know, sometimes I mean, it's some nice. days it is, some days it isn't. Right. You know, uh, um, I'll, I'll just say that. It's, it's, it, you know, I mean, sometimes it's like, oh, it's nice to be home. It's great. You know, whatever. But sometimes it's like, man, I, it's the separation is, is nice too, Kevin. That's why we see each other. It's exactly. very nice to, you know, to, to be, exactly. in the, to be in the same room. Yeah. So but I do have my mask just in case. That's good. Yeah. See? Um, so I, I do have a question for you, which is the whole point here. I thought I was going to ask you. No, I'm asking you something. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so we ha- we are in a I would call it a transitional phase, okay, and technology right now, okay. Um, let me show you a quick technology check. Tech uh, check, yeah, tech check. Um, we are. Uh, some people have really been through the transition many years ago, but really, I would say in a grand scheme of things, we're just now getting to the point where it's becoming much more universal. What I'm talking about, yeah, I'm I'm interested where you're going is voice over IP phones, computer. Ah. Internet-based phones, if you will. So years ago, we had these big – and this is kind of true for every every industry and technology, frankly. We had these overly complicated PBX systems and all this other – That reminds thing. me. I got to do a quote for a client for okay. a voice over IP <laughs> system. <laughs> but, you know, that's just, that's just what it was, right? Right. And now people are starting to learn about the advantages – and less about the hassles of voice over IP because I think there's a lot less hassles than there yeah, used to be. Yeah, it's not. I mean, yeah, it's a phone. But it used to be like, oh, well, it's, it's this, it's this right. panacea of phones. But I've heard this guy's had this problem. This yeah. Guy, it's not really that anymore. It's Right. So, I mean, voice over IP has been around for quite some time. But, yes, in the early adopter stage when you say that, you know, you're on the <laughs> – there's a whole – chart where you have the bleeding edge of technology where you're the first adopter to everything and there's there's a reason why they call it the bleeding edge because there's a lot of a lot of bleeding a lot of bleeding that happens because you got to deal with all the issues right all the the growing pains growing pains and all that kind of stuff and that's where you know a lot of people that did do voice over ip at the very beginning they had issues because it's dependent on your internet and if you don't have good internet or you know, quality of service on your internet that to be able to say, okay, I have voice traffic and data traffic on my internet. Then you have voice qualities, you have jitter, you have, you have static, you have all that kind of stuff. And that was what people in the very beginning of voice over IP really had issues with. Well, can we step back? Just, I I just always want to look at this from the total beginner's perspective. What is a voice over IP phone? Right. And how does it work and and how does it differ from a regular phone? Right. So, the the regular, you know, Bell South old school telephones that me and you grew up with in our house. Right. Plug in the wall and the phone company is giving you a hard line that's dedicated for your phone line. That's all that goes on that. A phone company comes in, brings in all the cables and plugs it all in and does all that kind of stuff. Where And so you're running off of a dedicated analog type line where it's – you know it, that's the only traffic that's on that. The difference now with voice over IP is you're running your voice on the same internet connection as – the rest of your internet traffic. So it actually uses the same cable Correct. that you plug into your computer. So if you have Comcast at your business, if you have, you know, any of the, you know, vendors that are out there, CenturyLink, you know, Cox, Spectrum, all kind of whoever, whoever yep. it is, 
you're running your phone service on that same utilizing technology and protocols and we can get very technical with SIP and all the different you know yep. protocols that you use but it is just that that's the advantage is you don't have to have another service you don't have to have to have the phone service come in you don't have to do all that and what's really nice about voice over IP and what makes it very Nice, especially in this day and age, is the remote accessibility of voice over IP. Okay, talk about that. So like the, like we the had one client, right, right. The tech advantages of voice over IP on that side is because it does run over the internet. We, you can configure a voice over IP system so that, I mean, we had several law firms that we support do this when the whole pandemic started was we reconfigured their phone switch really quickly to allow for that lawyer to take his phone off his desk, take it home, plug it into his internet at his house. The clients know, they, they know nothing's changed. And nothing's changed. He is still, when someone direct dials his number, it goes through the internet and it's all internet based, right? So it goes through the internet and it rings his phone. If someone's sitting in the office, that a receptionist that might be in the office, she can still direct dial his extension and he's at home, but he's right. still getting the phone. Yeah, so that's there's cool. no, you know, so the accessibility of voice over IP has been great for this environment that we're in now. Well, one of the things I do is I forward my desk phone since I've been at home for a year off and on. I forward my desk phone right to my cell phone. Yeah, so that's another feature you know. and w- benefit of voice over IP compared to traditional phone type systems is the feature rich accessibility that you now have. Um, each individual person can kind of pre-program their phone the way they want, you know, and, you know, you can even set up things called follow me where it might ring your desk phone two times. And if you don't answer it, it's going to ring your cell phone, you know, so there's that features, there's voicemail to email, you know, and a lot of the new, you know, traditional phone systems have some of that built in, but it's cumbersome. It's hard it's to set up. It's hard to manage. It's yeah, all that it's, stuff. And it's costly because yeah. with the traditional phone system, at least the, how we budget our plan and all that kind of stuff for our, our clients is, you know, it's a f- flat monthly fee right. based on how many phones you have. So yeah. it's basically very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. It's a flat fee per phone. Boom. There's the phone. You don't have to pay for the phone. You don't have to do anything. Right. It's just. The service is going to work and we're going to configure it and you can set up IVR, which is, you know, uh, you know, virtual receptionist that, you know, when you call, mm-hmm. Hey, please dial one for sales and do this and do that. And, you know, so it's just the feature rich, the accessibility. Um, is it hard to set up? I mean, if somebody was thinking about, if they're on the fence, like they're, they've, they've been on the fence for a while, they're like, Oh, we, we really like our old system, but I can tell that we're going to be switching over the next. Six months or a year is it? Is it a hard process for a business owner to go through? Business I mean, owners don't know anything happens really okay. because we take like if you know we're about to do a project for another client and all the process on our end is I mean we get the phones we get all that we have to get a phone bill from them we start the process of porting those numbers oh, same numbers yeah yeah so we take Makes the sense. numbers that you currently have from your phone carrier who you're using now and we put in a request that we're going to take those numbers from them sure. and port them into mm-hmm. our system. So that process, your phone system is still running everything. Will, and then we basically pick a date that we're going to do the cutover. And typically it's a Friday morning or an early morning thing. So it's like a low traffic time. Of so the week or basically whatever. we come on site the day before, install all the phones, get everything set up, do some training. And then the next morning we're there when the phones flip over and you guys really don't even know anything. It's just this, our new phone starts ringing and the old one doesn't. Yeah. You know, so really there's no downtime at all for the client to make a switch over and it's yeah. very, very easy. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's a voice over IP. You know, there's so many. How do I use it? You know, well, if it rings, pick it up, pick it up and answer it. Right. And if the you menu want, systems it, 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 might be a little, little, right, little tricky. But I mean, but. it's still a phone. Yeah. So if you want to make a phone call, there's nothing new. You still pick it up and you dial You're the number. Dial nine or you know, any stupid it's just, it's yeah. just a phone. Yeah. So, you know, on the back end, yes, you can do. 50 million things with this thing, but ultimately it's a phone. So let me talk. People love to hear about the downsides. I, I'm going to say one of the downsides is the internet bandwidth situation. Uh-huh. If you've got terrible uh, dial-up internet, which nobody does, I'm just using that as, as an example, 
um, that that's probably not a good situation. Right. You you need to have at least a certain threshold of bandwidth probably for this because you still have to have internet and your phone right. at the same time. So Correct. One of the one of the good things that we like to do and it's just a ballpark number and it's <clears throat> it's probably high is we like to come to our clients and say, okay, it is internet based. So what type of internet are you running? Okay, you're running you know 25 meg up and down, right? Which is Standard, standard but, low, but it's on the low side. Yeah. And you say, okay, well, I have 25 employees that are going to be on the phone. So, okay, so it's here's a round number for you. Um, each person on the phone is going to take on average about one meg of your internet to make that phone call, and it's going to be a good quality call, and there's not going to be jitter, there's not going to be any of that kind of stuff. So that's a good round number. So if you have every single one of your employees, 25 people on the phone at the same time, you're utilizing every single bandwidth of your internet because you've got oh, 25 see. meg times 25 people, right? Yeah. One meg per person on a phone call. That's probably like worst case scenario. That's worst case. That's high. Super it's in, conservative. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's typically 600, 700 kilobytes, but you know, for a round number. Um, so that's where we can go to and say, yes, it will work, but if everybody's on the phone, you're going to have issues. So let's probably update, upgrade your internet. Let's double it. Let's get 50 meg, which typically now is not expensive at all for any kind of internet yeah, It's not going to be that much of an upgrade. No, right? it's not going to yeah. be that much, but you're going to see that greatly in your call quality and, you know, and you're not utilizing in that way within the firewall, of the network, we can say, okay, 30% of the traffic is for voice and the other 70% is all for your internet and your mm -hmm. data and all that kind of stuff. So within the networking tools, we can do that. Right. And that's what's nice too. We do have some clients that all we do is their phones. And it can get hard sometimes because we do have to get into firewalls and networking equipment. And if we don't have access to that stuff, it makes it a little harder um, to make sure that the calls right. but that's are That's probably are good. a little bit of a, a but we, that's not a outlier situation, yeah, it is. right? So it is. Um, the one thing that I will want to touch on that people always ask on VoIP, and then we can you know go on to another topic is the question of well, it's over, it's running over internet. What happens if my internet goes down? Well. Your internet goes down. Within our system, we can configure an automated failover number. So if you're the business owner and you got your main number and then you – if the internet goes down, we can auto-configure your cell phone or an office manager okay. or a receptionist so that the, when our service sees that your internet is dropped and we can't communicate anymore because uh, it's all in the cloud – then we can There's auto. There's a check system that says, "Hey, it's down. I don't see that anymore. Yep. I'm going to auto forward. I auto forward all the calls coming into this number to this number now. So that's a great feature that can auto set um, and kind of cover your bases of having loss of internet. So that's awesome. Okay. But you guys, if we if you have questions about. Phones, voice over IP. If you're in the market to do voice over IP, you're in the New Mexico area. It's 505-923-3388. I know that one. I don't know the other one. And then Colorado market, if you dial 720-891-4000. Okay. Five. 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 See, you do know Yeah, it. it's like we're a – so we love doing team. these kind of things. Are you know the, the voice over IP f are, are kind of fun for us. Mm -hmm. You know they're little right. projects, but the, they they're great tools, and you can really benefit by a remote workplace. Well, it's a great upgrade for your business, honestly. Right. I mean, it just makes sense. Okay, so, thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Like